Many brands have come up short when it comes to using 3D printing in shoes. But ASICS is going to try and use it in a flip-flop. This is the ActiBreeze 3D sandal. And it's finally time that I can talk about it. All right guys, this is it. Finally, I can tell you guys about the 3D printed sandal. I initially teased you guys about it back in Malaga when I saw it on the feet of the A6 athletes there. They all said that it was a super comfortable slide and I couldn't wait to get a pair for myself. I did get a pair, but they were extra large. So like, like a size 13 or something like that. So I could stand in them, but I couldn't walk in them till today. We just got out of the press conference. Dina Castor was the MC. The CEO of ASICS was also there and the 3D printing partner was also there to explain a little bit more about the process and the thought behind it. So this is intended to be a recovery slide. So it's not just beachy footwear, although that's definitely how you can use it, but it's also intended to help your feet feel better and feel more comfortable after a hard session or a long week of training. Uh, I got them on the feet now, super squishy. I really enjoy it now. I've tried a lot of different 3D printed shoes before, and they always ended up being like a lot more firm than I would expect or want 3D printed materials to be. These are super soft and they are a lot of fun to walk around in. I'm definitely gonna be rocking these when I go back to Hayward Field later today uh, for the afternoon session day two of World Championships. Yesterday, it got super hot in the afternoon and we were on the sunny side. And so like any little thing I could do to help keep cooler is going to be much appreciated. The thing that I didn't expect that I'm feeling right now is that because of the 3D lattice, there's so much air flowing through this slide that it's really helping me keep cool. Now there isn't like a rubber outsole, there's no other materials that are like blocking airflow from you to the sandal. So like, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I'm, I'm liking it a lot more than I thought. I would just thought it would be like a squishy sandal and I had a lot of squishy sandals before. But this ends up being super comfortable and I really enjoy it. The thing that surprised me the most though is that I wasn't anticipating what the CEO of ASICS was saying, that this is gonna be part of the future environmental strategy. And the idea being that they could have these products 3D printed at a location near you, rather than having to make a bunch of them in a factory and then ship them all over the world. And so the idea is to reduce the carbon footprint. So that's hopefully something that'll come to the future. There'll be like a kiosk system where you can go and get these things 3D printed. Now they have one of the 3D printers over there and it's like super Westworldy. Uh, and it's like kind of creepy to look at if you think about it that way, but it's also just super fun at the same time because uh, it's 3D printed technology. And I've never like seen the shoes get printed like in front of me. Now I talked to the 3D print guys yesterday, last night at dinner, and they were telling me that it takes a couple hours to print any individual one slide. And then it takes like tens of hours later for that slide to cure. So it's not like something where you could like right now go up to it, like hit a button and it'll like a vending machine, it'll pop out. So like that technology still needs to develop a little bit more before we get to that point. But that's also something that ASICS has in mind. They're hoping that they could do that, that they could 3D scan your foot. They had 3D scanners out here as well. They told me one of my arches is higher than the other, which is something that I already knew. Uh, and that one of my feet is longer than the other, which is something that I also already knew. But it was pretty cool to see that and look at like where they're going in terms of being able to super customize recovery products for exactly what you might need. Now, the one thing that I haven't been able to do is do any long-term testing of this. Uh, I wanted to get this video as soon as possible because these shoes are going on sale 
if I have my facts read correctly, it wasn't in the press conference, but someone else was telling me earlier that these are gonna go out on the website tonight, the same night that this video goes out. I'll post some more details in the description down below so you can check that out. Very limited quality quantities, so you gotta be fast if you wanna get a pair of these on your feet. So far, I'm really enjoying mine and I'm very happy that I'm having them. One thing that happens every time I do a review of a 3D printed shoe, people always wanna talk about the dog poop situation. And I'm just like, what are you guys doing with your shoes? Don't step in dog poop. People are always worried that stuff's gonna get into the lattices of the 3D printing. Of all the different 3D printed sh running shoes that I've run in before, that's never been a problem. I get more rocks stuck into my Bondi's, into my on shoes, than I've ever had get stuck in any 3D printed shoe that I've had. So I don't anticipate that being a huge problem with these. The shoes did come with a warning inside the box though, uh, saying that, you know, because of the fact that it can be unstable on uneven surfaces that you want to kind of avoid some of that stuff. So, you know, there's some caveats to it, but these aren't a pair of Tevas. These aren't going to be the sandals that you go hiking in. These are the sandals that you want to be in after a long run, a hard session, and you just want to pamper your feet a little bit. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. I'll do the best that I can to get you the information that you need. And thanks for making it all the way to the end of this video. Hopefully you guys are being safe out there on your runs and I'll see you in the next one. Yo, what's going on?